Hello everyone, hi, this is Spirit Journey. This is like my fourth video for the day. Yes, it is Thursday, June 15th, 2017. And I'm going to do a tarot card reading. I am new with tarot card. I do not do this for a living. I have in the past, last year, done a tarot card reading about the elections and to my surprise they both came up and you could look at my youtube channel to find those videos well i want to do this telecom reading after the shooting from yesterday that happened in virginia uh, that was richmond virginia i believe these congress congressmen were playing uh, baseball and a terrorist came, an American terrorist came and started using an automatic rifle and started shooting them. The terrorist was uh, shot himself. So it, it kind of shook me up yesterday. I felt a lot of anxiety and I thought about doing this video before. I put chicken and part of me wonder, well, should I do the this tarot card reading? But my curiosity is getting the best of me. So what I'm going to do, I want to do a tarot card reading if President Donald J. Trump is going to be assassinated or attempt assassination, physical. So I know that's controversial, but I want to do it. So I'm going to begin. I want you to see each step. I'm going to do what's called the, I want to give that terminology, and it's called the cross of truth. Let me just get that. Get in my book. I have my books here. Okay, let me just show you what the cross of truth looks like. This is the spread. It's the five card spread. And you see the numbers of the card, the orders that you put them in, and the meanings behind them. So I'm going to use that as a guide. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to begin trying to keep everything together. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say it out loud. Is Donald, President Donald J. Trump, is he going to be assassinated or an attempt of assassination on him? Whether domestic or abroad. And that will be for the remainder of this year. So it will be for this year. I do not wish any harm to President Donald J. Trump or his family. I really want to I really want to promote peace and harmony to all of Americans, regardless of what your political beliefs are. Okay. So So I'm breaking the things. Cut them in threes. Position one. That's for the basis of the question. Two is for desires. 
three will be helpful. Opposition. And this card is the outcome card. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that here on the side. Limited space. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and five is the outcome card. Okay. These cards I don't need anymore. I can put that on the side. And I'm going to begin. This is the first card, the basics card. And according to the book here, what's that? Basis or present. The first card shows your present position, the base from which you are working in relation to your question, according to the book. And as you see here, this is the magician. Okay? And I'm going to read what the magician says. According to the book. And I'm going to present, show you first the book, the magician, so you can read it and interpret it for yourself. Okay, so you can just put on pause and read it at your leisure. And yes, yeah, just that card. So according to the question that I asked regarding any assassination or assassination attempt to President Donald J. Trump. Interpretation. The magician's message is to inform you that you have all the skills and ability required to handle a task well and bring it to a successful conclusion. Just like the magician, you must apply yourself with concentration and willpower in order to succeed but you have all the potential to do so. This is a time for action and initiative in any new ventures. You need to have confidence that you are indeed heading in the right direction. Very interesting. Card number two. Okay, that is Ten of Swords. Okay, this card, Ten of Swords, has to do with desires based on the question. And according to the book here, the second card shows how you really feel about the situation. This in itself can tell a great deal about your mindset. How in tune is this card with the others? Is it in conflict or agreement with what you want and what the other card said? If this card is positive and the other cards are negative to the, to the result you are hoping for, it could be that you're not in tune with the situation as it really is. Okay. Now I'm going to read what the Ten of Swords means. Okay. Ten of Swords. So again, that's this one here. You could put it on pause and you read the card at your own leisure and come to your own conclusions. Okay? So I'm going to read the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords can represent a feeling of loss due to the ending of a difficult situation. Where within this, we are released 
and ready for a new beginning. For life moves in cycles. It can warn about ruined plans or matters that don't materialize as hoped, leading to feelings of disappointment. But take comfort in the fact that perhaps they were just not meant to be. If this card appears in a future position, it acts as a warning. The outcome is now dependent upon the action you take to avert the situation. Action shapes destiny. Interesting. The next card. Six of Swords. And this card in the position on the spread, the cross of truth spread. This is a cross of truth spread. Okay. Number three, helpful matters. This card shows what is or will be working in your favor in relation to your question. Okay. Six of Swords. Okay, here. So you could read it, put on pause, and read it at your own leisure and come to your own conclusion. Okay. You know, as I read it, I'm going to hold it up. The set, I'm sorry. The meaning of the Six of Swords is quite literal. Move out of stormy waters into calmer ones. If you have experienced difficult times, this card assures you that matters will improve and harmony will once more be restored. As the Six Swords in the boat demonstrate, all our experiences are part of us and travel with us. A reminder of the life lessons we have encountered. This card can also represent a physical journey, usually long or over water. Very interesting. It seems like this, this spread is really asking my other questions that I have that I want to do after this reading. Very interesting. The Six of Pentacles. Now, according to the spread for this, this position, this, this position of the card represents up, opposing. Okay, maybe what that means. Okay, card position number four, opposing energies or challenges. The card in the position of challenges shows if there are opposing energies preventing you from achieving what you are hoping for or challenges you may face. Don't be misled if a positive card appears here. Sometimes the circumstances surrounding the meaning of the card actually create an obstacle. And that's the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you could put the video on pause and read it at your own leisure and come to your own conclusions, okay? Now hold up the card. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles shows successful material gains and being in a position that allows you to share with others. Business ventures should be paying off, or perhaps a pay increase is coming in their direction. It is important that once the work is done, the rewards are enjoyed. 
This is not only of a monetary nature, but also a sign of sharing your time with others. Invariably, when we work hard, it is our nearest and dearest who pay the price of not having as much of our time as they deserve. Now that, now that the results are beginning to manifest, show your appreciation, for time is a precious resource that can never be replaced. If money has been outstanding, then this card indicates that it should now be received. The Six of Pentacles is a card of generosity and kindness, so gifts are also indicated. Mm. Okay, the last card is the Outcome card. Okay. This is the outcome based on my question regarding assassination for Donald J. Trump. Okay, the outcome card, position five, the final card will provide the answer or advice you need, but always read it in relation to the other cards. Okay. So that's the Knights of Wands. Find that in the book. Knights of Wands. Show that. So you just put it on board. And you read it and you come to your own conclusions. Okay. So this is the outcome card. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to read the, the whole thing. The Knight of Wands sets out with confidence. He tends to bring swift movement to matters with a high level of energy. So that's the description of this card. It's representing a young man, fire element. When representing a young man, the Knight of Wands is energetic, adventurous, full of ambitious ideas, warm and exciting, but apt to be a little hasty. As an event, the Knight of Wands almost always shows when someone is about to change residence. May, may also signify a long journey being taken, sometimes both as in immigration. As always, look for supporting cards. The energy this night represents tends to make clients feel they must act quickly as it has a high level of creative energy, but they must not, in their haste, forget to check all the details first. Wow. I didn't expect these cards based on my question. Before I, I started doing this video, I had another question that I wanted to ask, but I felt a little pushy with myself. I thought, oh, let me just do the thing with Trump. That's more, you know, interesting. But my other question was whether or not with the social events that transpired yesterday of the shooting in Richmond, Virginia, the 
people who are playing, the Congress people who are playing of uh, baseball, whether or not I should leave, leave New York City. So it seems like these cars are really answering this, that question. And I don't know how to read it with, with regard to the question that you just heard me say earlier regarding Donald Trump. My feeling, my feeling with the cars, it seems like, you know, that, that you feel like you want to do something. There is a sense of urgency. But the, the final outcome card, you know, I feel that he's going to come out ahead, President Donald J. Trump. If the horse was like on his back or something like that, it seems like he's going to continue forth and he's riding high on the horse. That is my interpretation. Thank you for watching.